What I love about the cocoon ceiling pendant is that it's an embodiment of everything we do here at Porta Romana. The kind of initial process for designing the cocoon was started with looking at natural architecture, the geometry of nature and its natural forms. The natural architecture of beehives of an abstract version of a cocoon itself that we can turn into a ceiling light with a really beautiful form. So once we came up with the idea for the cocoon, it was trying to turn it into something that we could actually get made by our makers. They're really keen on using kind of different forms of uh, manufacture, um, different techniques. So we wanted to use the skill of glass blowing with metalwork. Technically, we had to start with the 3D shape really and work back. The cocoon itself is a very natural form, but we needed to work out of a way to make it from a very 2D surface. We had to build essentially the cocoon in its raw form, fold it out, flatten it out, and make sure that we can give something he would then be able to recreate the shape that we want. So once Tom has produced the cage from the 2D net, uh, we then send it to our glass blowers and they then blow the glass into the cage. It's the combination of these two materials which really make the cocoon what it is. The results that we got from our glass blowers exceeded our expectations really. Once that product comes back to us, it's time to put the finishing touches to it and that happens at our in-house workshop. The workshop team size and leaf the cage, even with the glass in it, which is a very delicate and intricate process. We are amazed that something so technical, all the way through the drawings, the metalwork, the glass bearing, finally the workshop applying the finish, could actually end up in something that was so beautiful and organic, and it fit perfectly into the Elemental Collection. <laughs>